All right, and here we are for the ceaseless discharge fight. This is another edited down video because of another amazing mistake I made. Um, but I'll go through what's happening in the beginning. So once you pick up the armor, he's going to lag him. Don't run straight out, wait for him to do that, and then run past him. Now, the way I would normally kill him is, uh, well, you'll see the idea in a second. You just run away from him. Run back through the passage you came in from. And what you're doing is you're going to just come around this corner, at which point he will leave his main area there. As you can see, and he'll start wandering around the corner to come and attack you from this side. Now, everything was going smooth up until this point. So he comes to here as usual and uh, he should, or he usually would, throw a tentacle down at me which would just miss because I'm slightly out of his range. I would then step forward, two hand his tentacle for a, maybe three attacks and then back off and wait for him to do it again. But as you can see he's not doing that, he's doing this strange underground fire attack which I can't attack uh, and so I've skipped about three minutes of video there and we're at this point where I'm trying to run back to the beginning hoping to leave the area so I could reset it. Uh, that doesn't work, you can see the fog gate is there and I won't be able to leave through it. Uh, so the whole thing was a bit disappointing. Once I reach the fog gate he is going to chase me, he's going to try and jump the chasm that's uh, to my right now. Obviously he's not tall enough to stand in there so he has to hang on one by one leg. I'll attack him a couple of times around now with my terrible sword, doing negligible damage. And then I remember something, so I go for this arm, one hit, he's fallen down, and the fight's over. Uh, it's a bit of a cheap victory, it's not a glitch, it is intended, but it's not my favourite. Next up, I'll be doing the Moonlight Butterfly, so I'll see you then.